Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brad. It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day. New comics are hitting the shelves. But there's also a whole bunch of other stuff, too. This is The Big Book of Supervillains by Downtown Bookworks, who hooked us up with a review copy. And joining me for this video is our youngest contributor to Graphic Policy. This is Nat. She's two months. Doesn't have a lot to say. But we're going to see maybe if she likes this book for four and up. I know it's going to be a stretch, because right now... She's just discovering her hands. But she likes shiny things, so let's see. And she did react to this when I did show it to her earlier. Uh, so, the big book of supervillains is by Morris Katz. And basically, it's just a whole bunch of backstories and backgrounds for some of DC's biggest supervillains. Now, as I said, this is for four and up. It's great tales for $16.99 uh, and is out this week in comic shops. Uh, yeah? Yeah, they're bad supervillains. Uh, so it covers a whole bunch of supervillains out there from the Joker, Harley Quinn, a whole, you know, just, uh, just lots of them. Uh, there's Catwoman, for instance. We can kind of get an idea of what to expect from there. Uh, and it's really nice. Like, things that I like about the Downtown Bookworks is that they cover a lot of history and a lot of variation in DC's history. Um, you get Lex Luthor. This kind of leans towards some of the older style of art. And, um... That's not a bad thing at all, but a lot of their books kind of varies as far as that. You can see here, there's just a lot of history where kids can go and learn about some of the bad guys. And learn how not to be like the bad guys. And she's being rather shy, apparently. Uh, but we did this before, so I kind of just showed her the cover, and it actually kind of caught her attention, which is kind of impressive, because she really doesn't have much of an attention at all. And right now she's punching me in the chest for whatever reason. Yeah? You like this one? You like this book? What are your thoughts? Yeah? it's a lot of grunting there. I can't really interpret that. Eh? Er. Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> you can see it covers a lot of different characters, all kinds of villains. Just overall, I mean, this is a great way for kids to learn about characters, learn to read, if they're interested in comic books. Like, it's, it's, it's a solid thing. I think it's really cool that they're doing this. Uh, as I said, it's up for ages four and up. You just woke up for a nap. Why are you tired? Or you don't like the light. You might not like the light. Um, and, you know, it's, it's great for kids. This is one that, yeah? What do you think? Now you're going to pay attention to it? Yeah? Why are you being a villain and punching dad? All right. Um, the book is a great way to teach kids to read. It gets them interested in maybe superheroes or gets them to read based off of their interest in superheroes and supervillains. Uh, and generally, like, there's nothing that scary about it. You know, it's kind of that campier art, so nothing's too bad. Let's see. Let's see what Nat's reaction is to let's see Catwoman. What do you think about Catwoman? She's staring at it, which is pretty solid. You like Catwoman? What about Mr. Freeze next to Catwoman? So Mr. Free ha Freeze has ice in his veins. And Catwoman's gloves and boots have retractable claws that enable her to scale buildings. But so, Mr. Freeze. So Dr. Victor Freeze started out as a scientist. He was an expert in cryogenics. That means he studied what happened to people and things in extremely cold temperatures. You, you know how you don't like cold? He likes the cold. He used his technology to put his wife Nora into a deep freeze because she was dying. He figured that maybe someday there would be a cure for her disease and he could bring her back to life. A terrible accident in his lab released freezing agents that completely changed Victor's body, transforming him into Mr. Freeze. Suddenly, he could only survive when the temperature around him was below freezing. He developed a special suit to keep his body cold at all times. He uses a freeze gun against Batman and anyone else who gets in his way. You know how you don't like it cold? Like, you really freak out? Yeah, he, he likes it cold. Alright. You can see, she's actually, she actually was paying attention. She likes books. So even though, you know, you might need that forward up to read it, doesn't mean it can't be distracting and be interesting for you to read to the younger set. Uh, so this is out today in comic shops. Um, probably will be out bookstores relatively soon, if not already uh, in bookstores. Uh, you can go get it. 
So, as we always say, we like to go hit up uh, comic shops, go support them. They're the backbone of the comic, comic industry, so there's a link beneath this video. You can put in your zip code, it'll tell you your shops near you. They can order it for you if uh, if they don't have it in stock, but go, go support your comic shop. Like, really, really important. Now, if you don't have a comic shop, we got some affiliate links underneath this video. There are affiliate links, so, you know, we do get a small percentage of that. If you're doing that, you help support us and help us support Nat. Or, you know, when Nat takes over, because she's going to take over. Uh, I want to take, thank Downtown Bookworks for providing us with the review copies. Always, we really appreciate it. I think this is a great book just for kids. Not just for kids, but like for them to read. You can get them for the holidays. Definitely kids who are really interested in comic characters. Uh, as always, if you're into comic books, DC, Marvel, whatever, uh, or want to check out more Downtown Bookworks stuff, you can check us out at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Until next time. Keep reading those books to kids and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.